Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a very interesting video on parsing two types of uh, mostly demanded files that are XML and then JSON. We will be watching how to parse these both files into our Power Query Editor window. So let's get started with the video. On this screen, you can see that at this transform section, there is a text column. And this in under this text column, there is a parse button under which it is telling you that you can pass XML or JSON. So basically for this uh, demonstration purpose for, uh, for this video, I have just downloaded few of the XML and JSON file and come, uh, moving forward in the video, I will show you that how we can just directly import XML or JSON file into our uh, query window or else we can just copy all JSON into our uh, basically Power Query window and how we can then parse it. So both of these options we will be watching for both of these different file types. So here actually I'm just taking one, I've just put it here that you can see there is XML sample and there is XML text sample. What I did just that basically I have just downloaded it from some arbitrary website, the sample files. So you can see that this XML basically when I will open it with my notepad, you can see that this is basically a book data set which is into this uh, XML format. I have just saved it with an extension of .xml so it's a uh, XML document and one file just I have saved it with .txt only, but it is a XML. So why I did so? I just want to demonstrate you guys that if uh, it doesn't depend that what your extension is, but our Power BI is smart enough to handle whatever data is inside of that particular file. So let me show you how it is. When I'm going here, and then you can see that when I will navigate to home and then connect with my data source, suppose first I will take up JSON only, uh, sorry, XML only, and then yeah, so here you are having an option of XML connect, and then it is asking you to connect with your so staging train.csv here it is able to identify this XML sample. This is at the same location where we were right now. So opening it, you'll see that it will automatically detect the data set whatever available here. So you can see it has just taken it out. That book is a data set available here and it has categorized that whole XML into different different columns and we are having a table ready in front of, in front of us. Right, so this by this method also we can go, and after that what we will do. So you can see it is it has passed very uh, correctly, and it's up to the mark, which is for our ready to use. Now I will show you how we can parse it from text as well. So basically, same data it is I have written it in the text file, so you can see that. XML text sample, but it is a text document. Uh, last time it was uh, XML document, but it will able to identify what data it is containing. And according to that, it will automatically pass that. You can see that similar thing, whatever it was at the last. So what we concluded here that it doesn't matter what our data uh, basically it is into uh, what what data is in the file but our power bi is smart enough to identify if it is a json file it is a text file uh, it, it is a xml file whatever in in inside xml extension also if you are writing it down or if it in text format also it will just identify and it will categorize the data into different columns and then it will be a table ready in front of you as you can see here now what I will do, same thing I will do it for JSON as well. 
and then we are having a very interesting thing at last so be in the video at last i will be showing you that if how if text in in just we will copy that whole xml or json file and um, means data whatever data it is there we will just copy it directly from the source and we'll paste it into the new uh, table by enter data option into power bi and how we will parse that actually so we will exploring uh, we will be exploring these two options available uh, these parse xml and json we will be exploring these options right now we are not using this option so let me go back connect to new source that will be our json this time json connect and you can see at we are having dot json sample 4 it was there as you can see sample 4 json so this json we will be connecting with it will be very very uh, easily be able to identify what uh, data inside this sample 4 dot json and accordingly it will categorize it and it will be our uh, it will be ready to use yeah so you saw that how we have imported our file and it is able to pass it without you uh, without any manual intervention now i will show you that if you are not having a file well organized file but if you are having a text basically which is nothing but a xml text or it is a json text and how will parse that particular text this may also be very useful scenario into your day to day activity in this bi uh, journey so basically i will be showing you how we can parse our text as well so what we will do this time we will visit a website Sam uh, and i i just opened it for uh, convenient purpose here we can see that the same uh, xml file what we saw that time it is available here right it is uh, in the text format actually so what we will do it we will just copy it we'll go to the uh, here and then we will enter data option i will leave this column as xml column paste whole data here so you can see when we will navigate back you can see everything whatever we copied it is over here okay so right now you will see the data type what basically the data type is you can see that it is showing you the that xml uh, uh, here whatever it is the column name xml we have put it down right now so its data type is abc that means its data type is text right now we want to parse xml we, uh, uh, inside this particular row whatever xml it is over here what we will do is we will just go to transform section and then parse xml what it provided you it provided you a table let's see what inside table so what we will do to see that either we can go with this option it will show you that book and table again there is another secondary table inside that table so what we will do we will expand it with uh, name and table so this book is nothing but it's a value it's a text column that is book and this is a table data type basically so what we on click of it you can see that table whatever table it was uh, it is getting passed it is um, inside this table just to expand this just to take this table out what we will do we will click on this double arrow button we will see that it is asking us to choose whatever columns it is available in this xml data set we will just choose it right away and we that we we can see that we are having this whole data set available in front of us of so what we saw the feature basically nothing matters that what text column is containing but if it is a xml or json type we will just go with this option of transform and then parse from uh, either into json or into xml whatever you you are understanding that 
just go with that option it will automatically parse that whole text into json or xml as per the requirement hope this is very clear to you uh, if, if let me show you json also that how how json will work um, if if you guys are interested let me show you quickly some json sample file i will So we are having basically sample4.json. It is basically I have downloaded it here only. What I will do, I will just go here. I will open it quickly. Open with a notepad. I will copy it as it is. And what I will do is I will just move to here. I will create a new table basically. let it be column one or json let me do it json and paste whole data as it in the text format right now whole data whatever we copied it is a json data but it is under inside a single column and in a single row and i have just pasted it down here as we have did in past clicking on ok it will create a table in front of you which will be having only one column that is json and inside that whole json file will be there you can see right now what we will do we will just parse this quickly json it will be having this record option correct when we will click on this record we can see that there is some list option available so let me expand it you are having no list available over there in inside list you are having again many records we will ex again expand expand values it is asking you so what basically equal sign and semicolon whatever it is a delimiter whatever it is used over there will definitely go with that so right now comma So it is resulting in error, but you need to select whatever delimiter appropriate delimiter it is over there. It will be again expanded JSON. Let me delete it. Expand to new rows. Basically, you are having now three records over there. Now again, we will click on so you can see that whatever it is able to parse whatever number of uh, uh, columns it is available over here we are clicking on ok you can see that you are having in front of you the whole ready to go table in front of you which was initially into the text format that means into the string format string data type but we are having whole table table ready in front of us so this is how whole parsing goes on with respect of JSON or XML hope this is very clear to you and it you found it very helpful if it the, uh, the videos which I am creating if you uh, like it do like the videos it motivate me to create uh, new other videos like that subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching the videos